You guys might see me crying in the vlog over my hair, but I'm hoping that I think it's cute. Hey besties, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you a weekly reading vlog. I don't think I've done a weekly reading vlog yet now that I've been in my comeback phase on YouTube. I have been doing a lot of vlogs lately, so I will link those down below if you want to watch them, but I think this is my first just regular old weekly vlog. The reason I decided to do a weekly reading vlog is because tomorrow I am getting my hair colored and I'm becoming a redhead, which is kind of scary because I've never been anything but some sort of shade of blonde. I know you can see that my natural hair color is pretty dark. It also looks a lot darker because it's next to platinum, but my natural hair color is somewhere between like a really dark blonde and a light brown. And I know saying it's a dark blonde is kind of giving that syndrome of a girl whose hair was blonde when she was a child and now she won't admit it's brown. But even if that's the case, I haven't grown out my natural hair color in probably almost a decade because even before I started going platinum like even in the early days of my channel I used to dye my hair out of a box called champagne blonde and so I genuinely have not seen my natural hair color in a really long time and I feel like when I try to look at pictures of myself from like college and like 2010 like around that time I had done random stuff to my hair so I genuinely don't even know what my natural hair color would be if I were to grow it out and I've been doing platinum for probably like six years like it's been a long 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 time that I've been coloring it like this but I was looking at a photo of myself recently and I was like, why am I giving Republican? Like, why am I giving sorority girl? Why am I giving, um, hello, this is Fox News at five. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel like the blonde isn't hitting anymore. And you know what? They used to say blondes have fun, but I feel like these days being a brunette or a redhead, people like you way more. I want to try something new and I'm just ready for red hair to become my personality. I just want to be one of those girlies. That's a little ginger moment. And you know, as you know, Anne of Green Gables is one of my new favorite books of all time. So I'm just ready to become Anne, you know? I loved her so much that I became her. Also, side note, don't mind my makeup right now. I am experimenting with graphic liner. I got this set from Gavisi Beauty. It is water activated liners. And I just wanna be like the girlies on Instagram that do all the cool eye looks. So I'm experimenting. I think from a distance, it actually looks pretty good. Like I was pretty impressed with myself, but if you look kind of closely, they um, are cousins, not sisters. So let's ignore that if you think it looks bad. But overall, I like the vibe I was going for. I think tomorrow when I go to get my hair done, I'm going to use the same green and do just a regular winged liner because I'm much better at that. So it'll be like a cute little green moment with my new red hair. It'll be cute. But enough with the rambling about my hair. Hair. let's get into what we're really here for the reading i have been reading this book called the high mountain court by a.k mulford i found this actually randomly through tiktok the author a.k mulford has mulford mulford probably mulford i don't know why i keep saying mulford anyway the author has a tiktok and she made one about how she was on this zoom call with a friend that doesn't know anything about her writing and they saw her books in the background of the video and they were like oh my god i love those books so much i binged them recently i thought they were so good do you like those books like have you read them and she felt like she couldn't admit they were hers because she'd gotten such a high compliment paid to her so she was just like yeah I do think that they're good I hope they're good and so it's just kind of funny and so I don't know I just really liked her personality and so something about her TikTok made me want to look into the series so the series is a high fantasy about this girl named Remy who is what they call a red witch and red witch are really sought after to be murdered because of some sort of like court politics that I don't fully understand and so early on in the book Remy is approached by this fae prince who wants to use her to find a special ring that could like help end the war with the people who are like always like hunting all the witches and killing everyone obviously there's a lot of tension between her and the fae prince because this is very much giving like a court of thorns and roses serpent and dove i definitely would say it falls in the new adult category because i can tell i can tell i can tell we're about to get some spice like i can feel a sex scene coming on um i did read some reviews on goodreads and people either were like oh my god this is so good one of my new favorite books or they said it is a sarah j moss ripoff but luckily for me i don't like any of sarah j moss's books like i read a Court of Thorns Roses and like half of A Court of Mist and Fury and I've also read like three quarters of Throne of Glass and I'd have to say that I'm good on Sarah J Maas like I haven't really tried to read her since then like I probably read all of those in like 2015 2016 and I, I've been good like I, I've never really felt the need to be an SJM like fangirl but I'm really liking this so far so I kind of feel like if you're like me and Sarah J Maas didn't really do it for you this book might really do it for you like like the fact that it's literally called uh the high mountain court because you know like 
what is it reese's court isn't his court like in a mountain or something some shit like that so if you like that you might like this i so far think that this is my kind of fantasy what i like i feel like her writing is really good and also the world building is really subtle like it is kind of told to you through them talking but it's also sort of like subtly like woven in and i've been really really liking it so far i'm probably going to continue to listen to this tonight as well as into tomorrow tonight i need to do some chores around the house i'm still unpacking all my stuff my boyfriend is finally moving in this saturday and he has requested that i try to organize all my stuff as much as i can before he gets here on saturday hello it has been about two weeks since we last spoke because my hairdresser ended up getting COVID, so I wasn't able to go get my hair done the next day like I was saying in the last clip. So I paused what I was reading, I paused what I was doing, and I was like, I will resume this vlog when it's time to go get my hair done, which is today. I'm literally at the hairdresser right now, so I'm gonna go inside in just a second, and I'll probably film some clips of me getting my hair done, the whole process, it's gonna be a whole thing. But like I said, I had paused reading that High Mountain Court, like, Fay book that I was reading, and I just picked it back up today, and I think I mentioned in the last clip that I was really enjoying it, like, the magic system, it was giving good vibes, and that I had found it on TikTok, blah, blah, blah. I don't really remember everything I said. I'm almost done with it. I think I have about an hour left for the audiobook. I don't love it quite as much anymore i still like it a lot and i think i'll read the next book in the series but if i had to give it a rating right this second i think i would give it like three stars i think that the last like half of the book wasn't as strong as the first half so which is fine it's fine it's fine but that, those are my feelings right now. Also, it's so fucking hot in my car right now. I feel like I'm sweating. So I'm gonna go inside to the hairdresser now, um, but I just wanted to give you a quick update so you can see my blonde hair one last time and I'm gonna be a redhead when I come back out. Um, I'm actually obsessed. I think I look amazing. I am feeling myself like I think this looks so good and I think it is proof that God is not real because if he was I would have been born a redhead because this is so cute and I love the way that she cut my bangs I kind of got my curtain bangs touched up I don't know I'm loving it I think this is like so beautiful I don't know hopefully you guys agree otherwise I'm just like hyping myself up and you guys won't agree but I don't know. I think it looks so good. Also, it's super hot in my car. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to go get food. But I just wanted to show you guys my hair. It's, I, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Hey besties, I think it's been almost a week since we last spoke. I'm learning that I'm not that good at weekly reading vlogs. Like Tuesday was the last time I spoke to you guys. Um, so this is more of like a piecemeal vlog, not really like a we talk every day sort of vlog. But anyway, I need to wash my hair. That's a random aside. Um, I haven't washed my hair since I got it done on Tuesday. I'm one of those people that I like to kind of let it marinate for a while, but I did work out this weekend. I mean, I've just been showering. I just haven't been washing my hair, um, but I did work out on Saturday and it's, it's kind of gross and I've just been wearing it in a ponytail all weekend. So I need to do that. But in reading news, I've actually read an entire whole ass book since we last spoke. I finished the High Mountain Court book. I think I already recapped that. Basically, whatever I said in my last clip, those are some of my opinions. I think like three stars. I don't know if I'll read the sequel. We'll see what happens. Since then, I have read a romance book that was recommended by Riley from Riley Marie. She recommended this book called Still Beating, which is a dark romance, which I know is a genre that she really likes, but I had never really dabbled into it too much. And... I loved this book. It was so good. So basically, and I want to emphasize that it is a dark romance, so some of it is taboo. We have two main characters. We have Cora and we have Dean. Dean is Cora's future brother-in-law, but they have known each other since they were teenagers because Dean and her sister Mandy have been dating since they were like 16 years old. And so she's known him for about 15 years and she hates him. She does not like him at all because they always pick on each other and Dean is kind of like pranks her a lot and Cora just like always feels like he's not that nice of a guy and so they just have never seen eye to eye well anyway at the start of the book they're at a bar and dean and mandy are there because i think they're celebrating the fact that they're going to be getting married in like a month and they end up leaving and cora's at the bar by herself and her wallet gets stolen and so then she's stranded at the bar and she can't figure out a way to get home because i think she wanted to take a cab or something and so while she's waiting outside trying to figure out what to do this random man this very like sketchy you know john wayne gacy looking kind of guy um starts like talking to her and she gets really sketched out so she ends up calling a bunch of people on her phone trying to figure out like how am i gonna get home what am i gonna do and her last resort is that she has to call 
call Dean because no one else is awake because it's like 1, a, 1 or 2 a.m. or something like that. And so she calls Dean and he shows up and then the guy's still being creepy and the guy asks like, are you guys a couple? And they say no. Little do we know that that's going to cause a problem. So this all happens like within like the first chapter of the book, by the way. I'm not spoiling anything. I just want to really set the scene for you about what this book is about. They basically get kidnapped by the guy. And so the guy is a serial killer that likes to kidnap people who are not couples and force them to fall in love before he kills them. And so they are now put in a situation where they're like trapped in a basement together and a bunch of stuff happens after that. And the book is really about them going through this traumatic experience together and then eventually the rest of the book is them kind of like processing what happened to them. And it was really good. There are a lot of trigger warnings for that book like sexual assault and kidnapping and just some really dark fucked up shit. But I really, really enjoyed it. I thought that it was done really well, and I really believed the chemistry between Dean and Cora, um, just because, you know, they're put in such a difficult position because, you know, after this happens to them, you know, Dean is technically still Mandy's fiance. And so it's like, how does she go about doing this when he's with her sister and they've been together since like for like 15 years, it's a whole thing. And so it's complex, I loved it, and I thought the sex scenes were, were good, and I just really liked it as a book in general. And I think I'm gonna rate it like four stars, and I rate most romance books that I read like three stars, because I'm just really picky about what I like in books. So I would really recommend that if you're up to the subject matter at hand. I mean, like I said, it is pretty, pretty dark. And then I have since moved on to another book, also recommended by Riley. I'm kind of in my read whatever Riley says phase right now. Um, I hadn't been reading a lot of romance so far this year because I was kind of doing my classics thing. And so um, she just mentioned in a couple vlogs recently that she had like these certain romance books that she really enjoyed and they were gonna be her favorites of the year. So I was like, you know what? Let's read what she's reading. So I picked up Pestilence. I don't know who wrote this. I don't think I've been saying the authors of any books. I'm really bad at that. I always say the title of a book and not the other. <laughs> To be honest, I don't really remember what I was saying before that boyfriend interruption. Um, but the new book that I've started reading is Pestilence. And it is a book about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So this first book, I think it's a series, four books, obviously four horsemen. So this first book obviously is called Pestilence. I'm being a little repetitive explaining this. Um, but I think the gist of the story, I'm not very far into it. I think I'm probably like a couple chapters in. So my understanding so far, like honestly, I did not really know a ton about it besides that it was about the four horsemen. And it's about like people falling in love with them and it's like a whole thing um, just from Riley's recent vlog. Um, I just picked it up because literally, I'm not joking, everyone in her comment section was talking about how much they loved that series. So even though she didn't even talk about it like that much or at like a great length, I was like, the girlies are reading this. I need to read this. So I immediately downloaded it on Audible. So um, as I was saying, it's about the Four Horsemen and in this world, aka our world, can I speak today? Can I explain things? I don't think I can. Basically five years ago, the Four Horsemen showed up on earth and they kind of messed up all the technology. Like they just like made a huge impact on the world when they showed up and they like ran around for a couple days and then they went off grid, they disappeared and no one knew what happened. They tried to explain it away with science. They tried to explain it away. They were like, oh, maybe we had an earthquake. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't really remember what they said in the book to be honest. And so now it's five years later and only pestilence has come back. And so he's been like spreading plague and like going around like doing his four horsemen type of shit. And so our main character, I think her name is actually Sarah. She is a firefighter and she, and at the very like beginning scene, her and her fellow firefighters that are left behind at the station are like pulling straws or matches to see who is gonna go and try to kill pestilence and then the rest of them are gonna run away. And so she is the unlucky one and she draws a really short one. And so she tries to kill pestilence and it does not work out for her because he actually takes her captive and now at the point I met in the book, she's been his captive for a while. And what I like about this book is it's kind of slow burn and that they are very much enemies right now. They don't like each other. Like clearly Pestilence thinks that, you know, humans are evil and that's why he's here to do his job. And then clearly she's being like literally tortured by him. Like he's like dragging her around by his horse and she's like dragging on the ground and stuff. It's kind of like actually like, how are they gonna fall in love? I really don't know. I don't know how this situation is gonna play out. So I'm gonna keep reading that this week, but I do need to admit that partially why I haven't updated you guys slash I've been MIA, even though I was reading. Sometimes when I was at home, I've been playing my Switch a lot. Like I started playing this game called Spirit Fair. It's an indie game where basically, I would say it's like Stardew Valley meets Animal Crossing where you have to like gather these little spirits and like bring them on your ship. And then there's all these tasks you need to do and you have to like grow crops and you have to like feed them. And then there's little like adventures that they make you go on. And you like take your little boat and you go around all these different places. And there's like certain materials that you need to build things. And 
it's it's really good. I didn't think I would like this kind of game. Like, you know, it's kind of like a resource finding task oriented game that does have an ending, but it has like a lot of side quests that you need to take. I typically like things that are really linear. I did miss my last Sunday upload, not entirely because I was playing Spiritfarer. Um, I also was doing a lot of chores this weekend. I like, worked out on Saturday and I had to do a bunch of errands. And then yesterday, me and my boyfriend spent the day like trying to unpack because as many of you know, I moved recently and the house is still not put together. I do think my bookshelf has really come along. That's looking, it's looking very good. There is a video about this whole office space with like all the decorations and everything I've done coming out soon, uh, probably in the next month. Um, so you'll see that. But as you can see, I think the bookshelf is really coming along. It looks really nice. So all that to be said, I just, even though I was reading, I was just not really like in a filming headspace. So we're going to continue to film this week. I'm going to keep reading and we'll keep talking and chatting and seeing what we're up to. You can't walk on my computer. <laughs> So I finished Pestilence by Laura Thalassa. I finally am knowing the author's name and I really liked it. I think I'm going to give it four stars. Some of the writing was a little bit cheesy and towards the end I was like kind of like coming out of the story a bit but then the epilogue kind of brought me back and it made me excited to continue to read the series. I'm very interested to see how she's going to continue going with this trope of like a girl falling in love with a basically deity that's like killing humankind. I don't know. I was kind of wondering to myself how this isn't gonna end up being repetitive. I'm interested to keep going in the series. Like I said, probably gonna give it like four stars. I really enjoyed it. I liked the writing. I thought the spice level was good. I did think that Pestilence was a little bit possessive of Sarah and I didn't like love that. Like towards the end, like they were like having sex and stuff and he was like, you belong to me because we had sex and we should get married. And I'm like, ooh, I don't love those views. But it also kind of made sense because he was like otherworldly and he was new to human stuff. And so to him, it logically made sense. Like if they were intimate, then they should like be together forever. But at the same time, you know, like, ew. But at the same time, also I was okay with it. I don't know, confusing, conflicting feelings. But that's why I'm giving it four stars because it was overall pretty good and I really liked it and I would recommend it as a romance. And I'm really excited to keep going in that series. And before we close out this vlog, I actually did finish one more book in these last two days. I listened to an Audible original called Call Me Maybe. I didn't remember how I found this. I think I was like looking at a random person's Goodreads reviews. I literally can't remember who this person was. I think I like found their review on like a different romance book and I liked their opinions. So then I was like, what do they like? So then I went to this other one I don't know if anyone else does that. That's my favorite thing about Goodreads is that it has that kind of social media aspect where you can kind of fall down rabbit holes of looking at random people's profiles, even though Goodreads has a lot of other bad things about it. I do like that social media aspect. And so yeah, I fell down a rabbit hole. Some random girl said that this was cute. I didn't even really know that Audible had all these originals. Like I knew, but I didn't know if that makes sense. Like I've not really listened to any and I kind of knew they were there, but I didn't know if they were any good. Um, I've never read anything else by this author, Kara Bostone. Bastone. Bastoni? I don't know how to say her last name. This book is about a girl named Vera who has a small business that she's trying to get off the ground and she's using this website hosting app called Curio to build it, but she runs into some technical problems so she has to call customer support to get them fixed. And so this guy named Cal answers the phone and he is the customer support representative. And what I really liked about this Audible original is because it is made for Audible, there was really high production value in the audiobook. So like when they were on the phone, it sounded like they were on the phone, there were like background noises and it was kind of almost like fully produced, if that makes sense. And so basically Vera's calling in and Cal is trying to help her with her problem and they end up having to be on the phone for like nine hours. And so obviously they start developing feelings for one another. And then the rest of the book is basically them just sort of dealing with talking on the phone and getting to know one another. So. So that was the book and it was really cute. There was no spice in it at all. It was very much more like rom com than it was like spicy smutty. And it had a lot of very kind of cheesy writing, but it kind of was giving me like Netflix romance movie vibes and I still really enjoyed it. I think if I were to read it, I'd probably rate it like three or three and a half stars because I really did enjoy it. I liked it more than a lot of other stuff that I've read, but I also didn't like love it quite as much as maybe like pestilence or still beating so i really like that it was really cute and if you have an audible membership and you haven't checked out their originals i would recommend checking this out like i said it was a really like low kind of commitment because 
listening to it on the speed that I listened to it. Like I said, it was done in like less than three hours. So yeah, I really liked it. It was cute. It was a cute moment. But that pretty much brings us to the end of this somewhat not really weekly vlog. Mostly it was just random clips of me reading random books over the last span of like over two weeks. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this video. I also would love to hear what you guys are reading right now and if there are any particular vlogs that you want me to see. Do you have any themes for me? Or maybe you just have particular books that you want to reread. Please let me know down below because I feel like I'm very open this year like both genre wise and also content wise. I've really been trying and also let me know what you think of my hair. Don't be mean if you don't like it because I think it looks really good. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day.